Hey vlog, in this week's episode, we're gonna go over workflows and how I use them to create more content so that I can sell more of my brand on LinkedIn and get more people looking at my stuff. I wanted to give you a quick channel update before this episode starts. I'm gonna be start posting more content around how people can improve their websites and get more sales on it. This can be anything from conversion rate optimization, to messaging on your website. So just join the workshops that we take some of our clients through as well. If there's anything that you think you would like to know, please put it down in the comments so that I can get some ideas from you. But yeah, enjoy this week's episode and see you all soon, bye. Morning vlog, uh, this post has really set the bar quite high now, but also the education content that I did as well has got a really good viewership. So I'm gonna try and do those two now as my main kind of content pillars for LinkedIn. Hey vlog, so my big goal today is to try and make my marketing process a little bit smoother because right now, if whenever I do it, it's all over the place and it takes a really long amount of time and I want to try and refine it so that it takes literally four hours in the morning and then I can have my Monday afternoon back. Big concept in, I guess, technology and agencies specifically, as well as any other service-based companies. Uh, so they're standing operating procedures or yeah, just like recipes on how to make something. So my goal this morning is to create some recipes. This way I can make sure that I'm following a process every time. It's not all over the place and I, it's just easy to do. So I'm gonna try and make that system this morning. That's one set of posts done, uh, bloody hell. <laughs> this took a while. Mainly just putting together the frames for LinkedIn and then reformatting it for Instagram. I'm still not entirely sold on Instagram for marketing vlog, but I'm giving it a go either way. I feel like the organic reach on LinkedIn is much better though. So what I like to do once I put the post together is add all the images to my marketing document. This means that if I'm on my phone in the morning, I can just take the copy and the images and post them immediately. Because I'm usually posting really early in the morning, like 7.30 a.m. or 8 a.m., I'm trying to make sure that I have it somewhere that I don't need to be on my computer in order to be able to post. I'm then trying to find a news article that I can post in the midweek. I usually try to find something interesting and then add facts into the post copy so I can support what I'm talking about. Hey vlog, sometimes I get so stuck into work that I forget to record stuff, but I wanted to show you something cool that I've come up with this morning. Well, first of all, actually, the main thing is that I've been focusing on rephrasing the things that I want to get done as results today. So by the end of today, what are the results or result that I want? Now, looking at my calendar, you can see that I have a load of stuff in here, but I guess that the main thing I need to try and figure out is what is the one thing or two things that I wanna make sure I get done by the end of the day, meaning that I've had a really good day. I think this is really important because sometimes you can finish a day and you can feel like, oh, I did loads of stuff, but there was nothing that you could point to to say, I got a result and that's why I should feel good. Instead, you're just like, oh, I had such a busy day. I feel really tired and now I just don't really want to do anything else. <laughs> Something that I focused on today and create a YouTube show for the automotive industry. This then feeds in as a content funnel. So from the YouTube show, I can make it into LinkedIn slides. I can make TikTok videos out of the clips from it. I can make an Instagram vid. And then I can finally use a service to transcribe the video into an SEO blog. This way we're recycling the YouTube content uh, into several other types of content for other platforms. I've been trying to think about like what I'm actually going to be saying on this. And then the things that I need to know as well. So what's the SEO for it? Is anyone doing this already? What content works best? Learn more about websites. I had a call with somebody and they said books for car owners could be a cool idea. And tools would be a good idea as well. Different things that people can use. I'm going mad about content now. I think I'm going to be doing a YouTube show, have a TikTok account, post it to Instagram, also posting on LinkedIn. 
I'm trying to get myself out everywhere. And already it's working because not only did I have a call booked later this week to do a sales call with somebody, but I just had another inquiry from somebody who wants me to take a look at their website and provide some insights and tell them what I, what they could be doing better. I mean, vlog, if you're not marketing, like just do it. <laughs> it's so, so, so worth it. But right now it's time for lunch. So vlog, uh, last week, the reason I had so much to do is because I've been learning to drive and I finally passed my driving test. So now I'm in a, in a car, which is really nice. It's been a, such a long journey, but I've loved every minute of it. And I would say if none of, if any of you are watching who don't drive, you should totally do it because the amount of freedom it gives and just maneuverability to kind of go and do stuff is amazing. Next week, I'm going to be driving an hour from where I live to go to a networking event. And if I wanted to do that via public transport, it would be a three hour journey, but via car, it's only an hour. So yeah, crazy. <laughs> hey guys, remember how I said that I've got a sales call book, so that's today. And this is what I'm doing before the call, just to do a bit of prep. So it's for an accountancy firm. Uh, they just want some tips on how to do their inquiries. So the things that I have prepared are just some notes that I've made prior to the call about you know, stuff that they could improve. I have some examples of websites as well. So like slack.com, just being able to sell their features a bit more and like why you should pet buy from them. And then on top of that as well, I've got our website as an example to be able to show them some cool things that they can do to increase their inquiries. And I've got the website audit summary as well. This was a thing that I got from Dan B. Shin this is the thing that we sell guys for 350 quid, $500. So it's a really big document that just tells them all the things that they can do. It's very hands-on and they do it themselves rather than us having to help them do it. Hey vlog, just making a workflow. At the moment, make content, but not in like a structured format. And I'm trying to get better at it because I want to try and do it all on a Monday. I found this really cool timer that I'm using at the top of my checklist now. So I give myself a certain amount of time click start timer and then it starts counting down. So I've got, I've got to start being quick. It's really good incentive though, because if I get distracted by something, I'm like, oh, I've got to go to this document or this email. I come back, I see, oh my God, I only have 30 minutes left. And that just like spurs me on to make sure that I get finished within time. This checklist is essentially my entire flow of doing everything for a Monday. And by the end of the checklist, I'll have a full content kind of pipeline done here. And as well as that, I'll have a vlog done and I'll have Friday tips done and then just about everything else. So if you're struggling to stick to a process that's like one after the other and you only have one day to get something done, I totally recommend writing out a list like this, a checklist that's like a workflow. So you go by every single step and when you get to the end, you know that your marketing day is done or your sales day is done or even just like your morning setup so you can begin the day. I wouldn't recommend this for tasks that like you're doing off the beat cuff, like they're one offs. But if any process that you have is regular, i.e. marketing, sales, etc., just have a like a listed out process so that you can do all the marketing on a Monday and then have loads of time the rest of the week to do your design work, website development work or whatever else that you're working on. Hey vlog, this morning I've just been going through my new workflow. So did the morning routine, did that in 10 minutes or something like that. Did my sales checklist, that took about 30 minutes. Put up my marketing post for the day. So my entire workflow has now worked, which uh, feels really good. And I wrote down what are the results for today that I want to get. As I said, I think in another clip, I got this tip from a guy called Carl Poutain. Uh, he's a productivity guy, it has a really good, cool Spotify podcast that I'll link in the comments. Carl has a thing where he says about, rather than having tasks to do for the day, reframe it and say, what results do you want to get from the day? So by the end of the day, what do I want to make sure that I've accomplished? Today, I'm looking at our new website and trying to put together content and stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to show you a way that I'm approaching it because sometimes I feel like you can be like really like all over the place trying to fix things. 
So what I'm going doing is going through the website and taking screenshots of anything that I notice. Once I pick up on something, I add it as a ticket. So I have a ticket here, which is for the homepage. And I've just gone through taking screenshots and made notes about different things that I've noticed. This way then I have like a list to work on rather than just like looking at the homepage and like flying all over the place trying to fix things one after another. Instead now I have like actionable points of things that I want to work through to the end. So vlog today I just put together a little landing page where people can watch a little video about me and there's some copy as well to try and incentivize them to book a call. I'm then using a new app called Savvy Cow. Now, I actually really prefer this over Calendly, I think. Like the UI looks a lot better and just embedding it on a website is a lot easier as well. It's very hard to do it with Calendly. Whereas with Savvy Cow, you can do it like this. I can also send personalized calendar invites. So I could have another picture up here with someone else and it could say, chat with Harry and Tom, for example. And then they're booking for both of us rather than just trying to book with me. That's uh, what today has been working on anyway. See you later, man. Bye, bye. So I finished off the week by going for a hike with some friends. I was feeling a bit mentally blocked, but after being outside in nature, you really do feel much better. After returning from town with my coach and doing my weekly review, I did a late evening YouTube video, which was the Friday Tips. That's it for this week's episode, but let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of, and please subscribe and give me a like. See you later.